it's all very well having data on the page to show to someone, but what if someone performs a search and that renders no results? Well, we don't just leave a blank space. We need to create what's called a null state card to show something in the place of nothing. Let's jump in. So I have a repeating group of users. And if I show you what that looks like, here we can see our users. If I, can, I can search for someone and that brings up a result. If I just search the letter A, I get nothing. So let's create a small card or graphic to show in the place of no results. So I'm going to grab a group, I'm going to drop it just below this repeating group. Okay, the height doesn't really matter. I'm going to call this group no users. And let's change the style. I'm going to set a border style of dashed and I'm going to match the repeating group border. Actually, let me make this a bit darker. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to grab some text. This will say no users found. I'm going to center align that. Okay, so how do we get this to work? We're going to point to the repeating group and say on the conditionals tab on this particular box here, that if the repeating group renders no results, then show this group. So by default, it won't be visible. And in the conditionals tab, all we do is say that when the repeating group user, when its list of users count, okay, when the count is, and then I'm gonna use my keypad to type zero, then show this. It's as simple as that. Let's try it. Okay, I have some results. If I type the letter A, no users found, and here is our null state showing where the repeating group should be. If remove the A, there's the repeating group. So it's very good practice to always give your users some kind of direction or some kind of result, even when the result is zero.